Okay, so let's start this exercise first by talking about the basics and then breaking down what is actually a CSV file. CSV files stand for comma separated values. As we can see, this is the Wikipedia page. Uh, I'm not even sure this is very useful to show, but anyway, uh, CSV files stand for files that contain data in a format that is separated by commas. It's just as simple as that. So if you actually, if you actually <coughs> Google um, CSV file examples, you will hit like a bunch of file, a bunch of um, websites that can give you sample CSV data. And I downloaded, I run into this one that has like a bunch of very simple CSV files uh, that are interesting. So I downloaded the one that says grades.csv and I modified it a little bit. Okay. So now what I have in my system is this file here called grades.csv and I have other files that I will explain very soon in my, in, in, in this video. Okay. Now the idea is that typically, if you haven't done anything on your system before, and you have, for example, um, Google spreadsheet, sorry, uh, Microsoft spreadsheet, typically CSV files are automatically detected by Excel. And then if you double click them, then Excel will open up and it will give you something like this. It will give you a table where you can see that you have columns, the columns may or may not have a header that, that displays what information is inside of this file. This is typically, um, this is typically something, it depends on, on the CSV file. Okay. And then uh, you can see that basically we have columns. All right. Uh, some of, and then we have for each one of these columns, we have values. So for example, we have names here, we have social security numbers, which I don't know who did this, but um, hope, um, hopefully these are fake. We could have email, for example. And then here in the columns, text one, text two, text three, we have, um, we have numbers. And then there's a final column called grade, which is text again, is also a string. And it has like the final grade for each one of these uh, virtual students. I can also see that here there is something that looks like an error. And I'll probably get back to that as soon as I see the file. So typically CSV files, if you open them with Google, uh, with uh, Excel spreadsheet, they look like any other spreadsheet. But the difference is that they're actually not spreadsheets at all. What they are is that they are simple, plain text files that you can open with any single text editor that you want. Notepad, Microsoft Word, um, Visual Studio, Atom, um, Sublime Text, whatever, right? And then if you open them, then they have plain text inside. And what they have is like all this data represented line by line. So every line of these is just a line of data where each one of these columns is separated by a comma. So let's take a look at that. Let's forget about Google, uh, about Excel. I don't know why I have Google spreadsheets in my head so, so strongly today, but let's forget about that. And then let's open any text editor of your choice. I'm going to be using Visual Studio, uh, but the fact that Visual Studio runs code has nothing to do with this. I could be using a simple Notepad, okay? And, uh, and let, let me actually use Notepad. If I use if I if I use Notepad and then I just drop here in grades, what you can see is that I can open this file with any text editor, and inside, I have a first line with all the headers for that data. And then I have for every line, I have all the values that I saw in that table. And each one of the values, each one of the columns is separated by this comma here. Okay, does that make sense? Now, what's interesting is that this idea of having tabular data, data that is a structure in columns and rows, but having it in such a simple plain text file with such a common convention, such as separating all the column data with commas is an extremely, extremely popular format because it's very easy to read. It's very easy to write. It's very easy to exchange. It doesn't have, you don't have to care about encodings or anything complicated. And then it's very easy also to parse at, with, with computer programming, with, with code. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is in this series, in this video, in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to write code in order to take all of these, all of this file, bring it into uh, a program and then, um, and then be able to chop all those strings with their commas and take that data and put it in a way that is a bit more orderly and, and, and 
can be used for other purposes. Okay, um, I'm going to sh pop. I'm going to drop the same file in my Visual Studio Code editor, and you can see that I have some plugins that highlight when they detect that it's a CSV file. So they detect, they highlight which ones are the columns and the rows, and then it colors things um, differently. And for example, one thing that I can see in in this way is that remember that that remember when I opened this with Excel and I saw that there was a row that it looked like it was offset. It looked like this should be here, this should probably be here, etc, etc. It feels like this number is off. It feels like there should be a comma here in the middle. And it feels like, yes, that probably here in the middle, there should be a comma. And then as I do that comma, everything offsets. Uh, and now it looks like I have the right structure for my data. So I'm going to save this file. Uh, and I cannot because I have it open here. So I'm going to I'm going to retry to save the file. And I'm going to open it again with Excel. And now I can see that that row, I don't even know which row that was anymore. But that row, all the rows now look, look correct. Okay. And you can see how also, uh, Excel is actually taking um, the numbers and is rounding them is removing the decimal part that all of them have here in the tabular data in the CSV data. Okay, so so CSV files, you can write CSV files manually, they're super easy to read, they're super easy to write. And if you have any uh, empowered text editor, like Visual Studio Code, for example, with some plugins, with some extensions, it's also with the color coding is very easy to read which data belongs to which column. Okay, you may something that I want to say before we start actually writing any code is that you may also run sometimes into this alternative way of writing this particular format, which is TSV data. Okay, this is also a fairly popular com format, not as much as CSV, but TSV stands for tab, uh, tab separated values. And the idea is that it's the exact same concept It's the exact same idea It's also like a grid of a table of data. But instead of using the comma as the character, the separator, it uses the tab character or the tabular space. So if I were to drop this here, you can see how basically, now instead of commas, I have this character, these are not white spaces. This is the the tab character, which in my system is two units, right? This is just another convention. Uh, so there are people who like it better, there are people who like it less. Uh, some people argue that it's easier to read because you see the tab space and therefore reading the columns is a bit easier. That's up to that's your choice. Some other people argue that it's better because typically if you're importing text, sometimes you will have commas inside of that text and then you have to use double quotes to make sure that you wrap everything that has commas inside of the double quotes so that those commas do not get confused with um, do not get confused with um, um, with the commas that separate the values, right? Uh, whereas tab characters, they're very unlikely to be found in regular text, right? So there are people that like this format better. But at the end of the day, it's the exact same concept It's tabular data, but instead of using the comma as a character separator, you're using the tab character. Okay. All right. So with this, I think what I would like to do is now move on to the next video where I'm going to show you how to write a very small program in C sharp that you can use to read a text file like CSV and TSV because at the end of the day, they're plain text files like any other file. And then to do some string manipulation so that we can chop all this data and create lists with the name, social security number, the grade, etc. Et okay, so um, let's let's take a look at what that would look.